fun with Phil. How's it going? I don't know. I got this Dremel tool here with nice assortment of bits. I was just wondering. I've used it a couple times, but the other day I was thinking, what would you actually use your Dremel tool for? I don't know. My brother-in-law tried said he was going to sand the living room floor with one of these. I don't know what the heck was going on there. And I went over to my dad's house one night and there I go in the living room and on the living room floor there's my brother-in-law John and he's sanding the wooden floor with his Dremel tool. He's got one of these in there and he's telling me he's going to refinish the entire living room floor with his Dremel tool. Okay. Tell you, <laughs> we got out of there quick that night. Telling me he's going to sand the living room floor with one of those. Okay. I thought about it for a while and I decided I know what I'm going to use my Dremel tool for. I'm going to use it to trick out my Hadley Puffy air horn compressor. It's going to be fucking great, man. I've been working on this piston cover for my Puffy air horn compressor. I think I kind of gave up on the Dremel tool. Oh well, I'll find a good use for my Dremel tool someday, but it just worked better just to go at it with a piece of sandpaper. I went at it with some 240 grit, and then took some 400 grit to it, and then sanded it a little more with some 600 grit. And then I gave it a coat of clear coat, sprayed it with some clear coat, and it looks pretty sharp. So that's it. Here we got the mounting plate painted. It's got three good coats of paint and then a couple coats of clear coat on top. I've taped off the aluminum compressor and uh, cleaned it. it. Looks real nice. Here's the motor plate again, only now I got the rubber grommet feet back in, and I also replaced the two center ones, they were pretty rotten and falling apart, so I put some new ones in. Um, sanded it and polished the aluminum on this. Now it's ready to install the motor into. And there's the motor for the Hadley Puffer air horn compressor. Out of all the cans of spray paint I had, I didn't have one can of black. So I ended up painting it navy blue and added a couple coats of clear coat afterwards. paint on the motor is all dry now. It looks pretty sharp. I gave it a coat of clear coat too while I was at it. Now I just got to get it into the mounting plate. Okay, here's the compressor with the motor installed. By the way, this is a dry lubricating system. It uses no oil. You just run dry. All the, the lubricants are impregnated into the metal of the piston and the piston wall. So as it heats up, when it heats up, the lubricant is dispersed into the friction areas. So you add no oil. It's ready to start assembling the rest of the head. 
start with putting the o-ring in there and on the, this plate I already know which way it goes on if it's that way or that way it goes on this way I'm sure this diaphragm is still good it's got a slight crack in it right there but it's still in decent shape. I'm going to reuse it although I'd like to replace it as soon as possible. I tried picking up this silicone gasket material but it's a little soft I'd say. It has a duro rating which is the hardness of it and the duro rating of this stuff was 10 but I figure I need more like a duro rating of 70 big difference. It's just a, some kind of red silicone gasket. I'll find it someday, but for now this one is going back on. Now the cover. Bolts. I've cleaned them and Sprayed them with clear coat. Okay, I got the head all assembled, and I just gave it another coat of clear coat. I sprayed the whole thing, I'm just waiting for it to dry, and then I can get the belt guard on. This in the inlet valve was a little bit loose, where the rubber diaphragm actually spun on there, but I was able to take and tap back down the rivet so it holds the diaphragm just snug again just so it doesn't spin the belt guard I just washed up real good and then took some rubbing compound and polished it a little bit give it a little bit of shine and now I just need to install it And there it is, my tricked out Hadley Puffy air horn compressor, ready to be installed. Now I just got to get her back in the motorhome. 